as well, as Anthony says, that's sort of the cocktail uh, capital. Um, so we want to diversify your mixes. That's why we're here. Um, I'll keep my speech brief because I don't want to bore you with all the tears. Um, so first, there's, there's two things I want to talk about. First is the the how Fenton started as a business because it's the whole brewed aspect. Some of you all know is Fenton's botanically brewed beverages. Not everyone knows what the hell that means. Uh, I certainly didn't when I first started for Fenton's, so I'll explain that to you. Um, that basically is our point of difference. It's what sets us apart from our competitors and makes our products a little bit more premium. So I'll go into talking about the uh, how Fenton's was established. So we were established in 1905 by Thomas Fenton, and back then he was an iron puddler from uh, Pat Heaton. And he, he did quite well for himself, he, he managed to build up some, some money behind himself and what have you. So he was approached by another tradesman for a loan, but this was a risky loan because it was a business deal that the, the tradesman was going to pull off. So he said, as collateral, if it doesn't pay off, I'll give you this recipe for botanically brewed ginger beer, you can keep that if I can't pay you back the loan. So, needless to say, great news because I'm standing right here, the loan was never paid back. So, um, Thomas Fenton became the owner of this, this botanically brewed uh, ginger beer recipe. He started selling it and producing it, selling it door to door throughout the northeast, um, as far afield as, as Sheffield and Leeds as well. Uh, and then the, the business grew, went from strength to strength. A um, hundred and odd years later, here, here I am standing in front of you, handsome people. So uh, that's basically the heritage of the company, that's where it all started. The second bit I'm going to talk about is the botanical brew aspect. Now, the drinks, obviously, some of you will be aware, like Rose Lemonade, uh, Victorian Lemonade, Dung Iron Bird, what have you. The reason that they taste a little bit different from our competitors, if it, I'll use the example of Coca-Cola and Curiosity Cola. If you taste the two of them together, they're completely different, and that is down to the brewing process. So, since 1905, Fentman's have been providing premium beverages through the selected brewing, uh, so through the brewing of selected botanicals since 1905. It's, it's, I wouldn't say it's a complicated uh, method, but it's, 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 it basically takes ages to do. That's what's different about us. So basically, first of all, water and pear juice is boiled up in huge, massive copper pans. Uh, that's the start of it. And then secondly, this is the botanical part of it. All the botanicals are added and then brewed in, in, in the, the process. And this is where the mixers comes in, because for the soft drinks, that is ginger-based. All of our products have a very slight ginger base, and that kind of sets the standard for it. For our mixers, this is going to be different. Uh, it's going to be four products, and these are four products that have never been used together ever in the world before. We're the first company in the world to do it, um, and that's something we're proud of because we're from the northeast. We're, we're, we're flying the flag for the north even and all over the world now. And these four products, or botanicals, if you like, are lemongrass, kaffir lime leaves, orris root, and juniper berries. So these four products are then added in, um, and they're left to simmer and, and ferment. And then after that, the um, the botanicals are strained, uh, and then they're left to cool off. Then after that, and this is the brewing part that comes in. We've had the botanical part, this is the brewing part. Yeast is added into the mixture in huge, massive wooden uh, wooden vats. Yeast's added in, uh, and then that's left to ferment, usually between two and seven days. So you can see that's another point of difference between our competitors. A lot of our competitors will take seven seconds to, do, to make their drinks. We take seven days, so it's a real time-honored uh, tradition, traditional method. And what that does is it allows all the ingredients to ferment and lets all the ingredients release their flavour, release their goodness, so the end product is a lot more flavoursome. If you left them in there for, for 10 minutes, it would make a slight bit of difference. The products wouldn't taste very good at all. But because we leave it for so long, the, you know, the, the taste profile is massively different. I'll go back to using the Curiosity Cola and the Coca-Cola for an example. It's completely different. So once that's done, the excess yeast is removed. Um, and then the carbonated water is added in and also the rest of the botanicals are added in to make the flavours for the individual products. For example, the Victorian lemonade, at this stage, the Victorian lemonade, for example, has the juice of one and a half lemons in every single bottle. So that will be added in at this stage for this product. I'll use the rose lemonade because it's here for the second one. This one uses natural Bulgarian rose oil, which is imported in from the Kazanlak Valley in uh, Bulgaria. Basically, that's just a massive valley full of roses. Um, we import the, 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 uh, the oil in from there and then it's fused in at this point and that's what makes the rose lemonade taste like rose lemonade. And then after that, all the products are just bottled and sent out for you people to use. So, the point of that is, 
th that's the brewing process for the mixes. Uh, and because it takes so long, and because of the unique botanicals that we use in any unique process, it allows the mixes to blend harmoniously with premium spirits, which is what something we found with the rose lemonade in particular. We brought it out as a soft drink. Mixologists were coming back to us saying, "Can you bring it out as a mixer? Because we use it that often with our products because the ingredients blend so well with premium gins, premium vodkas." So we thought there's something, there's something to be made there. So this is why we brought out the mixer range. Um, and we're bringing out a few new products later on in the year, one of which is called 1905 Herbal Tonic. Uh, I can't disclose the ingredients of that just yet, but it, it, I, was, I was just telling Anthony before, um, it's completely different like, to like anything you've ever tasted on the market. And it's just down to the unique brewing process that we, that we do. We can use ingredients and botanicals that our competitors simply cannot do uh, and, and produce products that are much more premium and taste completely different. So that's something for you all to look forward to. And, um, once again, thanks Anthony for, for letting us come on, thanks for Hoochie Coochie for letting us to come and present our products at this great event. And um, hopefully you can enjoy them. And if there's anything else you need to know about the, about the brand or the products, just I'm, I'm here till probably about 9 o'clock, just, just let me know. What did you do, you